And what surprised you most about your study? What were the revelations that, that you found? Well, the, the first big surprise was the actual proposal for the merger, which was done by a set of accountants. Um, and Plender, William Plender, was the main accountant who had written up a proposal that he then passed on to Churchill and the whole thing was rushed through in a summer recess mm -hmm. to rescue the companies because the background was that both com companies were in a, a disarray financially but Armstrong's Whitworth, the other half of the merger company, was in a much more serious a situation. Um, they both had lost a lot of money and they were both only working at 40% capacity by 1926 or so. And therefore, as profit-making companies, they weren't making enough profit, and this was causing alarm. But to get this merger um, put through, they, in a sense, used fear-mongering tactics because they pointed out that if these firms failed, or if they were sold off or closed down, then their armaments wouldn't be available to the country in an emergency. And so because of that, they flagged up the situation, having known that the companies weren't doing well for a number of years because Vickers had already been rationalised by accountants, one of them was Jenkinson, during the earlier 1920s, and they were slightly more healthy than Armstrong. The Bank of England was well aware of the situation, the arms company's directors were well aware and the shareholders, but it was flagged through as a sort of emergency situation as if it had just come to light in 1927 through the summer when people were away. It was very much a tactical thing to push the merger through.